I'd like to talk to you about learning CG. I created my YouTube channel because I honestly believe everyone who has attained a certain skill set should pass on their knowledge where possible to others. I am where I am today because of the generosity of others teaching what they know to me and that in turn gave me a passion for teaching and learning as well. My channel is all about little tips and tricks and workarounds and not so much a full set of tutorials on any given thing. They're mostly there to supplement the classes I teach and not serve as full courses in their own right and to maybe help out a few people for, with little problems that they might be having. However, people do need full courses that cover everything and good ones too. It's not always possible for everyone to attend really good colleges and have access to excellent instructors and gaining access to the latest techniques from industry veterans is even harder to come by. You can wade through dozens of tutorials from different people and try to tie them all up together in your head or you can access one person and get one perspective on how to do things that you can follow, learn from and take what you will from it. Colleges can be expensive and often the tutors are no longer working in industry. With the constant pace of software development accelerating all the time, it's almost impossible for people to keep up unless they're doing it as their full-time day job. So what are students to do? Well, there's always the option of online courses, much cheaper than colleges and delivered by people up to date on the latest software and techniques. And so today I'd like to do something a little bit different and talk about wingfox.com and an offer for a discount on a course that you can actually get now. You may have noticed that I've never done this kind of thing before, where I post about other tutorials. As this is hopefully going to prove very useful to people, I thought it would be very worthwhile. Being upfront about it, Wingfox will give me a small percentage for every person who buys the course I'm about to review. So if after this you're considering getting it, you'd be supporting me by buying it from the link in the description. I promise you I'll give you an honest review about the course and what you can expect from it. Feel free to contact me in the comments if you're not happy with anything I say here. So yeah, there is a discount. Using the coupon, you can get 15% off. Well, first off, a few words about Wingfox. They're an online tutorial website specializing in high quality courses, which are designed as either courses, workshops, or masterclasses. And all of them are graphics, animation, game, or movie industry related. They're based in Asia, so a lot of their courses are not available in English, but we can filter courses by language using the links on the side here. So choose the language that suits you and then see what's on offer. There's certainly plenty to choose from. The course we're going to talk about today though is this one called Photorealistic CG Animal Production Process. The instructor is Ying Kang Luo, I probably butchered his name there, um, a senior character modeling artist at the world famous Naughty Dog Game Studio. Here you can see some of his work which is really accomplished stuff, the guy obviously knows his stuff. When Wingfox approached me I chose to review this one because it suited me to review it. It uses Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter with some nukes thrown in at the end. And they're all software that I'm either comfortable in or can at least find my way around in. I wouldn't be great in Nuke, for example. But that brings me to my first point. This course is not for beginners. It's for intermediate to advanced users only. So if you're a beginner looking to make a creature, this isn't the course for you. The reason I say that is that the instructor will sometimes go through some stuff fairly quickly or assume certain knowledge before starting. He generally goes through most things quite well. But every now and then, if I hadn't been an advanced user, I might myself have got tripped up. So what is an intermediate or advanced user though? Well, I'd say if you're comfortable with the ZBrush interface and navigating around it and had all of the main concepts down, you'd do fine. For Maya, you may need to feel a little bit more comfortable than that. And I'd recommend it for users of at least one or two years. The course is translated from his native language and read out by someone else. And there are a few tiny mistranslations, but nothing seriously confusing. And there should be no issue following it if you're a relatively experienced user. In fact, some minor translations are kind of cute and interesting. The chapter on textures is called stickers for some reason. Uh, once again, not a beginner's course, but more for people who want to advance their skills and push themselves further. It's got 21 hours of content covering everything from start to finish, which is impressive in itself and no stages are skipped along the way. So pros and cons about the course. Pros. It's very well documented. The quality of the modeling and work throughout is excellent and to an extremely high standard. Every stage is covered. There's no skipping in it. I can honestly say it was useful to me and I learned a few things along the way. Wingfox courses track your progress so you can see which videos you've watched and come back to them later, which is obviously very handy too. As I said, everything's covered from preliminary sculpting and ZBrush to retopology in Maya, texturing and substance painter, lighting, hair using XGen, rendering and compositing in Nuke. It's extremely comprehensive, no stage is skipped. There's a fair few reference images provided as well, so you're using the same reference he is. On to the cons. Uh, there's honestly very few cons about it. In one video, the sixth one I think, he shows the old way of projecting details onto meshes. I think that's because this was done in ZBrush 4 or 7 or ZBrush 2018 when the new project history wasn't yet available. 
And at one stage, he went quite quickly through locking scale groups in video 15, I think, and he didn't explain why he was creating separate shaders for retop all pieces. Again, nothing major, something people will experience, will see, and not have a problem with. Some of the courses shown up at double speed, so it can be tempting to just skip through them, like, you know, when he's doing repetitive stuff. Um, so, but at times, he'll make tweaks to things without mentioning them during these repetitive tasks, which you may be skipping through such as changing hair settings while adjusting individual hair directions for long periods of the time. So watch out for those. So yeah, while it can be tempting to just skip through repetitive stuff, if you watch them all, you'll catch everything. One other consideration to take into account is how old this course is. It's about um, four years old, I'd imagine. He's using Maya 2018. He's using ZBrush 4 or 7 and 2018. And although that seems quite old, the techniques in here that he's using are still very much relevant today. So Although I would always recommend that you get the latest version of every software and start using that if you can. There's nothing really out of date here and everything is still very much valid. XGen hasn't moved on a lot. The sculpting in ZBush is always the same. Retopo in Maya is the same. Substance Painter he's using version 2018. It's effectively, it's the same. So yeah, even though it's an old course, it still gives excellent results. And I think most of the techniques, like the vast majority of the techniques are still very much relevant. For me, when you take everything into consideration, this is an excellent course. It's a few years old now, obviously, but everything in it is still highly relevant and to a very high standard. For me, if I'd paid the full price of $90, I'd honestly have felt that I got a lot of content for that and would be very happy with what I'd learned from it. It's up to the user to actually follow the course though, so you do have to watch all of it. But that's a lot of knowledge for a very small price, especially with this discount. Lastly, I'd like to thank Wingfox for access to the course and the offer. So as I said, the good news is this is a discount code, which you can grab using the code on screen and in the description, which will reduce the price by 15%. For anyone considering taking it, enjoy the course. All right, cheers, bye.